Hello friends, today we will be synthesizing the double salt ferrous ammonium sulfate or ammonium iron 2 sulfate better known as more salt. Double salts contain more than one type of cation or anion obtained by combination of different salts that crystallizes as a single substance but ionizes as two when dissolved. More salt is used in analytic chemistry instead of iron 2 plus. In this video, we will be preparing iron 2 sulfate, then ammonium sulfate and finally the more salt. First, let's prepare iron 2 sulfate. For this, I need some iron. Here I am using iron nails and some sulfuric acid. First, I transfer the iron nails into a 250 ml beaker. Then I add the sulfuric acid into it. I had already diluted my concentrated acid by adding 10 ml of 98% sulfuric acid into 50 ml of distilled water. Always add acid into water with stirring while diluting. You can also use the battery acid used in automobiles. After adding the acid, we notice a lot of bubbling. Here, iron is reacting with sulfuric acid to produce our desired product iron 2 sulfate and hydrogen gas. Hydrogen gas is being liberated as the bubbles. You can also see some brown color depositing that is the unreacted rust or the iron oxides. To augment the reaction forwards I heated the solution. As you can see the solution has turned dark. This is due to the presence of high concentration of iron 2 sulfate and the unreacted iron oxides. Next we will be filtering the solution. For filtering, I am using a simple gravity filtration. Filtering will remove all those unreacted particles and you get a clear solution as the filtrate. Observe the color of the filtrate. It is green in color. Iron salt, being a transition metal salt, gives colored compounds. That is due to partially filled D subshell. Then I boiled the solution and recrystallized the ferrous sulfate from it and you can see the crystals of ferrous sulfate with its light green color. Now I will be transferring the ferrous sulfate into a piece of tissue paper or a filter paper in this case to dry them and then we will be weighing them and we will be using them to prepare our more salt. I got a yield of about 30 grams. Now we will be preparing the ammonium sulfate. This preparation is just a neutralization reaction with ammonium hydroxide and sulfuric acid. I will continue adding the sulfuric acid into the ammonium hydroxide until the bubbles stop forming. Neutralization reaction is exothermic so I have to cold the solution from time to time because ammonium hydroxide is volatile and when the reaction becomes hot the ammonia gas will escape. After complete neutralization has taken place, I will add some excess ammonia to keep the solution basic. Only then we will get the crystals. I then transferred the solution into numerous beakers and I let them evaporate in the sun and on evaporation we get these needle shaped crystals of ammonium sulphate. After drying the crystals, I crushed them and this is the final yield. I got about 9.4 grams. Now we will be synthesizing the ferrous ammonium sulfate or the more salt. First we transfer the 3.7 grams of iron 2 sulfate into a 50 ml beaker. Now add the 1.5 grams of ammonium sulfate into it. Then add 5 ml of distilled water and mix well to dissolve the contents. Now 
Warm the solution gently to dissolve the salt completely in the water. After dissolving it completely, boil off some amount of water until the crystallization point is reached. You can check the crystallization point by dipping a glass rod into the solution and blow drying it to cool and observe for any crystals formed. If you see some crystals forming, that means the crystallization point has reached. So we cool the solution and on cooling, the crystals of ferrous ammonium sulphate separate out. Now we can decant the solution and wash the crystals with alcohol and we dried the crystals. I got about 4.5 grams of ferrous ammonium sulphate or ammonium iron 2 sulphate. This figure you can see the difference in colors. The more salt is lighter than the iron 2 sulphate. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos. If you can financially support me, you can do that via Patreon or PayPal. Links are in the description.